Hey, Dr. Sam for Doc Sports, and this video is for Sunday, January the 1st. That's right, January 1st. Happy New Year to you. Hopefully you have an absolutely great New Year's, and uh, 2023 is your year, to uh, whether it be sports betting, whether it be anything that's going on in your life, let's make it your year, just like I'm going to try and make it my year coming up, okay, for everything that goes on around, whether it be your job, your work, whatever. Whatever, okay, With something in your life. Hey, let's just make it happen. That's that's the bottom line on this one. So, hey, I'm here to give you some free picks, okay? Definitely uh, ready to go on that, and also have some other stuff. So, want to let you know that uh, this upcoming weekend we've got a big football weekend with the college and the bowl, uh, the bowl games and the NFL. And so, on Friday, <clears throat> I have a six unit best bet on Friday afternoon and college bowl games. So you can check that out at the Doug Upton page at Doc Sports. And then on Sunday, January 1st, I'll also have another best bet. And in uh, best bets recently, I'm seven, one, and one. Yes, I did lose the one this past Wednesday, but that was my first loss in five weeks on football best bets. So we're looking to bounce back. We've got two of them coming up this weekend. See if we can cash them both for you. Okay, from that standpoint. So yeah, so we got some good stuff. Plus, additionally, on Saturday, I have both of the uh, college football playoff champion or uh, semifinal games. Picks on both those are not best bets, but definitely plays that I like a lot. And so we're going to, we have those available. And then on Monday, January the 2nd, I have the Cotton Bowl pick as well. So a variety of things that you can have. Otherwise, if you'd like, you can get all of those, plus you get the, the seven unit best bet and three other NFL games. So a total of eight plays. And those are all available at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. It, the package is ninety nine bucks. You and uh, for that to get all those plays and uh, hey, we're gonna make you some money. I've won in the NFL in particular five out of the last six weeks. Gonna do it again this week. So we've got some good stuff coming up there. If you have never been to Docs, okay, uh, go there and sign up for sixty dollars worth of free picks. So some of this action you can be a part of right there. And these these are the picks that I'm selling to other people, other Docs customers right now. So you can get that. that. Check me out or check out any of the guys at Doc Sports. And if you're, <clears throat> because we've had a number of new signups for videos, subscribe to the channel. It's easy, okay? Sub subscribe button's right there. Just do that. And then you'll be alerted anytime any of the Docs guys like myself have a video that you can check out and hopefully make some money, okay, on it as well. So that, that's all available. Now, you know, also I'm going to have NBA. I'm going to have college basketball. I'm going to have NHL picks this weekend. But right now it's Thursday afternoon. So, hey, you know, I don't know what I'm going to be taking. I haven't even seen the line yet for those games. So check, check it all out right there. All right, let's get today's free play. We're talking in the NFL, the Cleveland Browns and the Washington Commanders. Now, the Browns are, were officially eliminated with their embarrassing loss against New Orleans in the bitter cold last week. Uh, didn't show much toughness at all. New Orleans was the tougher team, and New Orleans is an indoor team, so that tells you something about them, about the Cleveland Browns, that's for sure. And uh, Washington, they lost, but they're still alive. Uh, for the playoffs because everybody around them, uh, either ab above them or below them, lost. So their situation is unchanged. They're currently the seventh seed, and if they win this game and keep winning, they'll be in good shape and make it to the playoffs from, from that standpoint. Now they're going to have a coaching change. Uh, actually, coaching. Uh, quarterback change, going to Carson Wentz instead. Um, I'm not sure if it's an upgrade, a sideways move. I'm not really sure what it is, but, you know, he hasn't played. He didn't play particularly well. He looked okay when he played the other day uh, in relief against San Francisco, but we'll see what he does when he starts. And we got Deshaun Watson, who looked like they've done absolutely nothing for Cleveland, okay, just, just across the board. So nobody's anticipating a really quality a quarterback play uh, from that from that standpoint, and Washington is a two point favorite. So let's we'll look at other elements of this game. Now, neither run defense has done the job lately. Browns have allowed 162 yards per game uh, in their last three, and uh, and the uh, Commanders have given up 138 plus. Uh, so you can run on both clubs, and both teams have the offenses to do that. Here's where the difference, I think, comes down for me, is that Washington receivers, okay, are better at going and fighting for the ball, whether it be McLaren, Samuel, or Dotson. All of those guys are going up, and they're fighting for their quarterback to complete passes, and they're getting the job done. If you've watched Cleveland this season, and in particular last week, 
okay, you, you don't see their receivers doing the same thing. So Cooper, Peoples-Jones, and Najuku, you know, if the ball is right to them, they're catching it, okay? But if they have to put some extra effort into it or actually fight for it, they're not doing the job, okay? So I'm looking at this one. we got a short number here on Washington at minus two. And I want to let you know that January road teams like Cleveland coming off a loss, okay, are 4-21 and 21 against the spread since 2020, losing by 8.1 uh, 8 uh, uh, points per game. So in this one, we're going to take Washington. Minus the two. All right. So I gave you the rundown on the football. Okay. I'm not going to go and repeat that again for you. You you know the drill. If you if you're that interested, you're going to go back to the beginning of the video and you're going to find out, or you're just going to go directly to my page and you'll see it all right there. So so West Coast Wise Guys play for Sunday is to take the Houston Texans plus the four and a half against the Jacksonville Jaguars. So there you have it. Uh, I this week I will be back on Monday. And in fact, I might be on Monday starting up again soon here. So, but I'll be back on Monday with a selection on the, among the four bowl games that we have on Monday. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Again, happy new year to you. And we will talk to you again this weekend.